Watch. Watch me. <laughs> now I want you to listen to me. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Because I am a homosexual man, duh. Y'all, I bought this blazer at Plato's Closet for $7. I'm lying. I bought it for $22. Where did I get seven from? I bought it for $22. Hey, all you lab rats. Welcome back to my channel, Lab Shenanigans. Why do you call yourself Lab Shenanigans? You're not even in lab. Well, it's because the world is our lab and we're just all scientists questioning the everyday wonders of life. What? Um, ciao. Anyway, so... I think my biggest question is this. What is the topic for today's episode? Darian, it's literally in the title below. Well, Sontag, Darian, you know I don't know how to read because I never passed the fourth grade. That's a lie. I've never passed the second grade. Darian, you need to stop lying to your followers. That's it! That's the topic for today's episode. Why? So exactly why do us homosexuals... I'm sorry. Homo sapiens lie. How does our body react when we lie? These are all really good questions. But before I explain the science behind lying, I want to show you guys how exactly I lie. Because I'm a really good liar. I think. So, in the name of science... I'm gonna play a couple of games of Among Us and try to win as imposter. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. You guys have done nothing. I'm doing all the hard work. Dang, my back is already hurting from carrying the imposters because that's what I am. He probably is. You know what? Yellow, slow down. Let me kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm imposter. But if it's Darian. No, yeah, but I, feel, I, like, I can get y'all. Like, if it's me, then it's me, but it's not me. So. Come, come to add me with me. Period. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm not an imposter, so. Okay, now we got you, Shannon. Okay, I'm going to Oxy Jan. I got, the, I got the top. All right, I got the bottom. Y'all got it? Yeah. What have you? What have you? What have you? What have you? What you? What have you? What have you? What you? What you? What have 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 you? I ran by Lily when she was in the top like engine thing. I went to electrical and I did my stuff in electrical and then I went and I did O2 with you and then I scanned my card when I was doing that and I ran right past him so I could go do shields and then after I did shields I went to navigation. Jake, I'm sorry, I'm voting you. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 I was just having a good time. I saw lab shenanigans out of the corner, and I was like, oh no, I'm about to die. And then he stabbed me. And I'll do it again. Yeah, I ventured out of lab. I think it's both y'all, actually. Me? What, for real, you think it's me? No, I think he thinks it's me. Yes. Okay, by the me. Jeremy, did you there do was. shields? What was that? Did you do shields? Uh, yeah. Are nice. you lying? <laughs> No. I feel like it's you, Darian. It's not. It's not. I promise. Uh... I'd, I'd be promising. Fine. If you don't believe me, follow me then. Follow me, gobble me, drip down the side of me. I feel like it's you. Come with you me. You did a visual task that did not show up. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Come with me then. Come with me. I think it's you. Okay, fine. Follow me then. I'm going to bed, bed. Come with me. Watch. Watch me. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running?
It's cyan, guys. Dude, people actually believe you voted me. All right, so uh, what happened up here when I lied? <laughs> I actually want to pass this question to a very special guest on our show who's an expert in lying. All right, take it away. So lying generally requires more effort than telling the truth and involves a prefrontal cortex. This brain region executes several different functions like complex cognitive behavior, personality expression, decision making, as well as moderating social behavior. As we take a closer look at this area, we see different key regions reflecting individual differences in making dishonest decisions. At the neural level, we see differences in the left caudate, which is associated with procedural learning, associative learning, and inhibitory control of action. Next is the ventral medial prefrontal cortex, which is a key brain region supporting decision-making processes. Another region is the inferior frontal gyrus, which helps us with speech and language processing. And lastly, the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, which is associated with executive functions, including working memory and selective attention. Another region involved in lying, or I guess is less involved in lying, is the amygdala. This area is responsible for processing emotions. As a person tells more and more lies, the amygdala shows less and less of a response. Oh, I mean, that does make sense. So how do you spot a liar? Well, if you know the person, Try to look for a shift in these four different categories, bodily movements, facial cues, tone of voice, and content of speech. Liars tend to itch, fidget, and also use gestures with their hands after they speak, as opposed to during or before a conversation. Those who lie more are more likely to stare than those who are truthful. They also roll the lips back to the point where they almost disappear. When people are nervous, the muscles in the vocal cords might tighten up, giving off a high-pitched voice and a sudden change in volume. Additionally, researchers have found that liars tend to use filler words like uh, like, uh, and um, and occasionally would like uh, um, like slip up. Wait, are you lying, Darian? No, I just zone out a lot. All right, this might be a silly question, but why would anyone lie? Why you always lying? Oh my God. So previous studies suggest that the decision to tell the truth or to lie depends on two factors. One, the size of the profit to oneself gained from lying, and two, the degree of harm the lie would cause to others. So in the game of Among Us, I'm willing to lie as much as I can to try to get away and win the game as imposter, knowing that it wouldn't hurt my friends or family. Or at least I hope so. Alrighty, you lab rats. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please like this video. And if you don't want to get voted off as imposter, I'll say goodbye to Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time in lab.